Okay, so um, before we part, I want to talk about the cosmic distance ladder. So we've talked about the method of parallax and the method of Cepheid variable stars, but there are other ways that we measure distances in space. And the first of these is the method of radar ranging. And so this is the idea of just taking a radio um, signal from Earth and bouncing it off of an object and then recording the time it takes to come back. And this is really useful for measuring the distance to objects within our solar system. So the distances to the planets um, are generally um, known by radar ranging. If we need to measure to uh, interstellar distances, then we can use the method of parallax. That's what we talked about um, last week. Last week? Monday? Can't remember. And so this is measuring the shift in the position of stars when you're viewing from uh, six months apart in Earth's orbit around the sun. So this is the apparent shift that a star appears to make on the sky based on our different positions. And this method of parallax is good to around 200 parsecs, um, a bit longer than that if you use spacecraft to measure that parallax shift. Then the uh, method of spectral parallax, we haven't talked about it and we won't talk about it, but essentially this uses the HR diagram. If you took one in 22, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a relationship between the brightness of stars and their temperature. And so if you measure the color and the brightness of a star, uh, then you can actually use those variables to find its distance as well. And that's good out to a, a bit of a farther distance around 10,000 parsecs. And then finally, the method of Cepheid variables can get us much further out toward 6 million parsecs. So a very um, powerful technique. Um, and this is exactly why Cepheid variables were the key to unlocking the measurements to distant galaxies. So this is most of the cosmic distance ladder. Um, we won't talk about um, type 1a supernovae, but they are another standard candle and they can actually probe farther than Cepheid variable stars uh, simply because they're so bright that we can see them across vast distances. And then there's one more um, rung on our distance ladder and I'll leave that one hanging for now because uh, it's, it's kind of a surprise. It'll come up in a few weeks.